so we're back in the infamous broom cupboard and uh, well it's a good day today because I've actually finished it I've finished the ruined farmhouse from Warlord Games at last and if I could just do this so if I clever, cleverly change to another angle Get a much better view. And cut the crap. Because we don't want that, do we? You want to see it? You want to see it? Not all this. What's that about? There's your 360. Anyway. Great for fighting over. Lovely. I'll just pop that back. It's on to something else. Hallelujah, some would say. After seeing that for, well, five videos now. <coughs> on to something else, please. Yes, and we shall. And it's... I've got that much stuff to paint all the time, but I needed a system. So, <laughs> I've got three game systems going on. Uh, with Frostgrave, Bolt Action, Scrappers now, a uh, new game available, have a look at it, and uh, a load of things to paint for all three. Uh, I've got good things like tanks and other vehicles, or bad things like stupid little rats that no one wants to paint. So, and if it's, if it's obvious you're going to go for what you want to paint, so it would be nothing but good stuff all the while, wouldn't it? So, I got myself a dice roll table with everything on it. So, I just roll the dice, it tells me what I'm painting next. So, whether it's good, bad, terrain, one game, another game, uh, a piece of scenario, scenery, whatever, uh, comes up, I'll paint it. And after the farmhouse, rolled it, thought oh, here we go, something different, finally, and I roll a statue. I know there's some great examples of various metal statues out there that have been painted up that look wonderful, and I, I just, I'm not confident doing that right now. So I knew we'd be back to our favourite grey again. Grey for the statue. Same kind of thing, same kind of highlighting. A statue for Frost Grey. Which is meant to come to life, kill everybody after releasing some nice treasure for them. <laughs> Which is all very good. But anyway, cracking on. This is my next statue, I've already done three with my wonderful system that I've got going um, and this one's next there she is little elf from Reaper Bones you probably recognise it, you've seen it before I've got to straighten the pole out a bit but the kettle and tap method is very effective I've, stra I've straightened that a bit already uh, with the kettle and it's not too bad, but it's still a bit off if you look, so I'll get that done. And on the usual base, it's a 25mm, 25 25mm 25 slot of base, I'm going to fill that in with Milliput. Other brands are available. <laughs> i say it quick, it's not as bad, is it? Um, <coughs> yeah, no need to do anything to that much. I've looked at it and zero mould lines near enough that sculpted it well to incorporate them I think yeah uh, so yeah look through all my <laughs> scrappy bits that I've got and got a couple of pieces of polystyrene glued them together and cut out a shape roughly the same size as the slot of base fits nicely on top and Still got bits falling off it. 
And then that's it. That's it. Just a stone pillar. There you go. On the base, on the top, ready to pounce on whoever comes to the column. Uh, <laughs> but to make it look a little bit more effective than just a lump of polystyrene, I got this. I don't tip it all over the place. It's oh, it's glue, water, and granules of some sort. Now I've come to the gra come across the granules when a friend, close friend of mine, bought his scenery ranch, showed me, and it shed half of whatever these granules are off it. Looks good. But now it's got much less granule all over his scenery. But after thanking him silently in my head, on my own, for doing that to me, I swept it up. <laughs> I thought, yeah, I have to actually do that with something. Do something with that even. And this one doing glue, water, uh, mixing the said vileness well that's what you get anyway when you do it and basically you could daub it all over the polystyrene styrofoam whatever you want to call it there's no aluminum involved in this <coughs> might be aluminium though uh, but anyway uh, yeah always good to have a somewhere to put it as well because it's going to get messy yeah so you just get it and just daub it all over it really i've read about this years years and years ago in in a magazine very popular in this industry that one i won't mention it no need and uh and it works it really does it gives a good sand looking stony texture to whatever you're doing and if you're using polystyrene with it you can spray it afterwards and the PVA is protected but protects the polystyrene stops it melting when you uh, daub this all over it so it's good but it, you do have to do it in stages because it runs and you run out of places to hold it. And there we go. Just daub it all over it. And it really don't matter how you get it. <coughs> and it's quite friendly, obviously, PVA. Just peel it off, get it on you. Water makes it even thinner, so even better. The bits that are in it, like I said, I don't know what they are, but um, I'm using them anyway. Probably give me. Oh, oh, I've dropped it. There he goes. It's, it's gone down the back. Let's just rescue, just rescue that live. There it is. All right. Taking chlorine victory from the jaws of defeat. So yeah, it's straight on to another one. Even though it's a statue. It still takes some work, as I'm demonstrating. Probably far too much work. People probably knock them out much quicker than this. And uh, not even think, not even blink. But me. Far too slow, I am. For, uh, for yeah, I mean, like I say. I'm a bit of an artist, not a factory worker, so I'm not going to line 20 up and paint them all. Not going to do that. It's great, great to do if you want an army. Quick. But, I, you know, I'm in no rush. Clearly. <laughs> <coughs> so, like I said, I'll take a 25mm base, 
milliput that all up. Just cut some milliput now. With spare milliput I've been having because we always make too much. Don't we make it up. Too much of it all the time. But any excess that I've been getting, I've been putting on to a little side project that I'm doing. A little wishing well. Sort of a well of dreams and sorrow to be specific. So that's good. You get a little bit of milliput and form it into a stone and it's part of my wishing well now. Feel free to do similar things with your spare milliput. After all, it's expensive. <laughs> it's great, best value modelling tool around, I think. Milliput, love it. Um, I've just used the wrong scalpel for cutting this. I've got a dodgy, horrible one here, which is. So cutting milliputs all it's worthy for. Yeah, looks horrible. Come on, posh one. Oh, I'll just cut milliput with them. So you've seen it all today. I'm losing scenery. Oh, using the wrong blade. I'm pulling the blade out of its housing. That's good, isn't it? That's a good advertisement for whoever made this. <sighs> yeah, it's all going well today already at least that's done yeah. it's because i got panda in here what it is it's a, it's a curse he ain't coming in here again <laughs> <laughs> so that should be enough milliput for that i think better be
slot. But before I pop it in the slot, I'm going to leave you to contemplate uh, what I've done here and decide whether you'll come back again or not. I hope you do. And uh, I'm glad you're watching the videos, glad you're subscribing slowly, and I hope you're getting something out of it. So, till next time.